What's going on everyone, Juan Valdez here and today in this video I wanted to go over how to maximize and get the best possible return on your Facebook ads. Now I know every single time that I post a video on Facebook ads I get a ton of great feedback from you guys, you know, asking about, you know, different strategies that I use and, you know, how I set up my Facebook ads and all these different things. And I know it's this video is well overdue and so I wanted to cover a few different strategies that go into play when either I'm creating brand new advertisings or optimizing current campaigns that I already have going on. And last couple weeks, I've been studying this guy, Jay Abraham, and this guy is obviously an absolute legend, and he's helped numerous businesses across numerous different industries. He's helped them overall with their marketing and get a much better perspective when it comes to marketing with as far as some of the things they shouldn't and should be doing. So uh, what I wanted to do is actually just take a second to kind of record this video and share some of the things that I've personally learned and I've been implementing into my business in the things that have been helping me get a much better return on, you know, what I'm actually spending on advertising. Because a lot of you guys know that when it comes to advertising, you know, whether it be with Facebook or Google, you know, prices go up. And so you want to make sure that for those of you guys that are, you know, working with specific budgets, you know, you're getting your best possible return. And so in this video, I'll cover specific things that you can do to be able to actually maximize what you're spending on advertising. So make sure you guys stay till the end. I'm just going to start my screen here so you guys can kind of follow along and we'll kind of just get right into it specifically strategy so one of the most important things is when it comes to advertising one of the things you always want to focus on is really understand that people care most about how your product or service I should probably change that right here how your product or service is going to benefit them and this rule applies to you know advertising across any kind of product or service that you're offering it's the same principle because of that you know a lot of people don't spend enough time really narrowing down what kind of message they're going to have coming across with their advertising and so you know when it comes to your actual ad that you're thinking about creating you have to keep things in mind right for example if you have a product that helps with making things easier you have to always think about well how are you going to improve their lives right how is the message that you're going to have for your advertising going to display that this product can improve their life and really coming up and spending time coming up with this part of your ad is like super important because before your ideal customer even gets to your website and sees a product you have to catch their interest some way and so narrowing down the specific message you want to display with your ad is super important you want to make sure you keep in mind how are you going to make their person's life easier if that's obviously the purpose of your product are you going to make them more handsome are you going to make them richer whatever the benefit of the product is you want to make sure you tie that into the message that you're displaying when you're advertising right and so for example if you have a product that helps with like skincare you want to make sure that you know you're displaying within you within your ad how the product is going to make the person more handsome or if it's a product that involves some type of service maybe that helps people with their finances and helps people like save money for example well you want to make sure you start thinking about well how can I display my product and service in this ad to display how this product or service will make this person richer right and so so those are just some things you kind of want to keep in mind when it comes to you know making your ad obviously it's different for every single product or service but this is my mindset when I'm thinking about what kind of ad copy am I gonna have what kind of headline am I going for what kind of image or video am I going for all these things are super important and we'll obviously get into more detail throughout this video but people want to know how you are going to enhance the quality the value the enjoyment and the profitability of their lives and honestly very few people understand this because one of the things that people want like mainly aim to do when it comes to Facebook ads whether it's in e-commerce or in other any other industry is really just try to see how they can just get ads going in general rather than spending the time actually creating and crafting the ad and really finding out what messages they want displayed between their ads and to be honest like what's more important than actually getting the ad launched itself is really the process that goes behind creating the ad right spending the time to actually think about a few different headlines to test once you start launching your ads a few different types of copy that you have that you're going to be using for your ad different kinds of images or pictures that you're going to use for your ads you want to make sure you obviously have different things you can split test later on within your, your ads because again one ad isn't going to just like do the job you obviously going to need some variations like you are gonna need to tweak change different things and so before you even launch your ad one of the things you want to do is spend some time coming up with for example different variations of your headline different variations of like the copy that you have on the ad different variations of that different pictures or images that you can use to kind of test things out because again you want to make sure you're not just banking all on one 
ad to test because that's not even in reality like a real test. If you're just trying out one headline, one kind of copy, one kind of image or video, well, you wanna be able to test later on the road. And so before you even launch the ad itself, the process that you're going through as far as like preparing different headlines and different body copy and things like that is super important as well. And so that's one of the things I wanted to make sure I had you guys understand because this is what I go through day in and day out between me and my business partner as far as like setting up new advertising campaigns and honestly, Doing this before we actually launch is super beneficial and it makes things a lot easier and smoother along the road. For those of you guys that are already advertising and you want to focus on obviously maximizing and getting better returns for you know what you're spending on ads right now, there's a couple things you want to do. You want to take some time to analyze and consider a few different things, right? You want to spend some time really looking at the data that you've gotten back from the ads that you have already ran or ads maybe from the past. And you want to look at a lot of different things, right? You want to see what kind of caused one ad to pull and perform a lot better than another. Get a few different ads side by side you usually like to lay them out and kind of open up a few different tabs here on my um, my laptop and kind of look at a few different ads and look at the data behind these ads and then i start looking at a couple different things and the things that i'm looking at specifically aren't things that i i'm just like randomly decided to look at i'm looking at the most important and the most influential factors of the ad to really read my and analyze my data and that's something that jay abraham does with a lot of the businesses and clients that he works with and so that's something that we've started to do within our business between me and my, me and my business partner and it has been working super well so i think you guys this is something you guys can also do to really get a much better return on your ads so right here we start to look at what headline did i use you know i start to look, compare different headlines that i use within all the different ads i start looking at the copy what copy did i use did i use image or video and I start to compare all these different things and obviously I start to realize obviously I'm looking for the ad that performed the best and I'm analyzing these things right like what headline what was the headline what was the copy was it an image was it a video that's what I'm looking at then from there I'm looking at what was the cost per link click what was the cost for purchase? How many conversions did this ad get? And then from there, I then start to think about, well, with this same ad that I that I use that already performed well, did I test any different prices and did I have any upsells and downsells? And the reason why these are relevant and important is because again, once you obviously narrow down what your best performing ad was, you then wanna compare obviously what was the difference between what made that ad work and what made the other ads not perform as well, right? And so once you have that winning ad, you wanna start testing different things so that you can see if you can take that winning ad that already performed well and run that same ad but with a split test or a, or a different variation and get sa the same or even better results and so it's already easier to take ad that's already done well before and you know make some changes to it and you know get much better results get much better cost per conversions get much better cost for link clicks and all that great stuff and so after you analyze and you find your winning ad set you want to test different versions of that same ad and so there's usually a few different things you want to test but Specifically, one of the first things you always want to test with is your headlines. And the reason why is because your headline actually is one of the most influential parts of your ad. What can have the biggest determining factor as far as like if your ad will end up performing even better or if it'll do worse or if it'll stay the same. The opening interaction of an ad is crucial and it's the first thing everybody's going to see. So for example, when people are scrolling down their timeline on their phones or on their laptops, you know, when they're scrolling, the first thing they're going to see is the headline, right? And so if the headline, if it doesn't catch your attention if it doesn't stop them from scrolling if it's not something that's unique that you know really will get them to pay attention to your ad well they're not going to look at the rest of your ad so no matter if you test the body or if you have like the best copy for the body of your ad or the best image or video they're not going to pay as much attention because the headline is what's really going to pop out to them when they're looking at the ad um, your headline is what will sell the prospect on reading the rest of your ad and following through with your call to action so you want to make sure you take the time to actually you know come up with different headlines that you can use for your ad the headline is what's going to determine if they actually go and see the video or go and click and see your website and see more about the product. And so that's why it's super important. And actually, this was pretty interesting. One headline saying the same thing in a different way can outperform another headline by 17 times. And this is literally coming from the man himself, Jay Abraham. If you can find ways to say the same things in different variations with this, you know, obviously with, the, with these headlines, well, it can have as much as a 17x difference on you know how it performed and so that's honestly insane if you think about it you know if something can be that influential on the results of the ads that you're running well this is something that you should allocate your time to do is really spend some time coming up with different headlines and testing different headlines because it could make all the difference in order to run a, a split test and for those of you guys that don't know what split testing is it's pretty simple it's just when you're taking your your best performing ad with whatever headline it has and you're taking the same ad just with a different headline and you're testing to see which one gets, ends up getting better results well an ad 
ad is really made out of mainly these six components. You have your headline, of course, which is the most important part. You then have your story or pitch, which is usually the body that's like right after the, the headline. And then you have obviously your proposition, what they're getting with the products, things like that. You have the exact offer, which is whatever it is that you guys, whatever kind of offer you guys are promoting, whether it's like free plus shipping, buy one, get this, whatever offer you guys are promoting, that's what you want to have it. And of course you have a guarantee. And last but not least, you have your call to action, what you're asking for the person looking at the ad to do. After you take the time to split test and see which headline ends up performing better, you then want to move down to the next thing and split test, take some time split testing the body copy, right? And I'm going to show you guys an example of what I mean by body copy in just a second, different offers, packages, prices, and guarantees. And I would recommend, based on what Jay said, I'd recommend you guys follow in, you know, testing the components of an ad in this order because the next most influential parts of an ad is the body copy actually. And so it wouldn't make sense for you to like jump to testing different pricing without testing different body copy because it's not as influential. And the last thing that he says, it basically comes down to headline, copy and either image or video, whichever one you're using. So you can kind of follow, that's kind of the steps that we follow as far as like split testing different ads. And I feel like you guys can also, you know, feel free to test the same strategy as far as like, you know, which, uh, what to kind of consider as far as like testing first when it comes to running different ads. Uh, split testing and maximizing allows you to get the highest return on your advertising spend. If you're able to increase your conversions with a better headline by even 10%, that on its own is incredible. Because again, if you're able to already have an ad that's performing really well, you can bump up your conversions by even five or 10%. Well, that's already incredible, right? And so the way you want to think about it is, okay, well, let me see if I can start to increase my conversions simply by testing different headlines. And then from there, if you're able to increase your conversions, the next thing you want to do is see if you can change the body copy and the things you're saying in your ad. And the purpose of that is because you want to see if you can increase your conversions even a little more. Let's say if you can get even a five or 10% increase on your conversions with just testing different copy. Well, that's super effective, right? That's obviously a lot better. That means you're going to be getting a lot better return on your investment. And the last thing is seeing what else you can split test, obviously, to see if you can get a better conversion rate, right? So that's when you would then go down to image of the video and then the pricing and the offers and guarantees, things like that, to see if you can then again bump up how much your conversion rate is. I've seen instances where I've charged a little more for the product and I've had better conversions. And I've also had instances where I charge a little less for the product or a little less for the shipping, whatever the case may be depending on if it's a retail ad or free plus shipping and i've ended up getting a better return it's super important to honestly test i know a lot of people say like test 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 but they don't really tell you like what to test i thought i'd take a second to kind of break down you know the exact things you guys should be testing and why you should be testing them and why they factor into the results you're gonna get. Me and my business partner also have been working on putting together this community. We actually call it the Ecom Incubator. And it's not like, you know, regular training program. We have obviously like training programs for people, but usually we keep those closed off. It's mainly like, depending on obviously qualifications and things like that, because obviously it depends on experience level. We wanna give you training that is according to, you know, obviously your knowledge and expertise, but we're opening up our Ecom Incubator and it's actually what we decided to do is not even make it something we're like we're doing it for the money something that's more for like a resource that you guys can use to kind of start to understand all these different things when it comes to e-commerce and so this e-com incubator you can actually enroll into it for free there's going to be a link down in the description you can enroll for it for free you get a free three-day trial and then after that it's only seven dollars a month and what we decided to do is make it cheaper than a cup of coffee a day, $7 a month. We've made this resource literally cheaper than Netflix and it's honestly filled with super valuable information. There's gonna be a lot of content that you guys can use to either just get started or even if you're already in the e-commerce game and you have some experience, there's gonna be resources you guys can use to test out different things within your marketing, your product research, your stores and things like that. And so our main purpose is to just kind of put together a resource in a community where people that are working on e-commerce can kind of come into play and don't have to worry about paying like, an arm and a leg to really be a part of a community of other people that are also working on e-commerce and also you know to make it really accessible for you guys to access information right and resources that you can use for your e-commerce business so there's going to be a link down below in the description you guys can actually check it out there and again you can start for absolutely free and then from there if you got any value from it then you can continue for seven dollar a month subscription we also do go live inside of that group where between my business partners me and i will hop on a live call and kind of have all the students on there and you know chop it up 
up with you guys, answer any questions you have, give you feedback, and also share some of the things that we're working on and also different resources we're using within our e-commerce businesses like books, different PDF guides, things like that. So check it out, it's actually pretty cool. Now, what I also wanted to show you guys just real quick right before I wrap this up is, these are actually some examples of some ads that I found that have performed really well before. And I wanted to kind of show you guys so you can kind of have an idea of what a well-performing ad looks like, right? So again, some of the things you can start seeing is like what their headline is. So you can see that the headlines that they're driving people with is 50% off limited supply. So they're starting off this headline with massive reward. They're using scarcity, they're saying limited supply. And then they're also using some social proof showing that people have already rated these products with five stars. You know, it's pretty interesting because again, when it comes to marketing, a lot of it comes down to psychology, right? And these different psychological biases. And so they're including three different biases in one headline, which is, you know, pretty genius. And another ad that this actually the same store ran was this one for this, like these hair curls. Their headline was 50% off. Again, it's kind of same deal. Now, when we go to their body copy, before we do that, let's look at this last one. I actually didn't get the, for some reason, it, the headline didn't come out on this one. But you can see this ad, look at the engagement. Yeah, 261,057 likes, 31,000 comments, 98,000 shares. And so honestly, with these kind of numbers, like you can tell that these ads obviously performed well. I don't know why the headline cut off here. And I honestly don't remember what it was, but we can just use these ones as references just so you guys see like what kind of headlines have worked so far. So these are the headlines. And then again, you can see the next thing that's important is again, is the copy. So pet lovers need this. So they're addressing their copy to pet lovers, the loving way to professionally trim your pet's nails. So they're promoting that this is a much safer way to obviously do something that their prospects are already doing, right? Cutting their pet's nails. It's a lot better of a way to do what they're already doing. So that's what they're like portraying the message that they're kind of going after with this ad. This next one is the fact that you can get these hair curls, simple, secure, and fresh, and they're getting a discount, all these different things. What they're promoting in this ad is obviously the fact that these curls are simple to use, they're secure, and they're fresh. And so for this one, you guys can use these as examples. Again, these are just quick ads that I found. I have videos that you guys can also check out that show you guys other ways that you can find like ads that have done well before in the past. And so make sure you guys check those out as well. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys pay the attention and you learned a thing or two if you did i'd appreciate if you dropped a like on this video if you have questions about anything that i spoke about drop your questions down in the comments below i'll make sure to get back to you guys and of course if you haven't already make sure you join the v fam smash that subscribe button below i'd appreciate that and also turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every time i drop the new video that's it for this one i'll see you guys on the next one peace